Okay, so we're talking about using the unitary method, underline unit of unitary, to look at problems with ratios and rates. And remember, they're a little bit different. So the unitary method involves finding the value of one unit, whatever it is we're, we're dealing with, comparing, then using that information to solve the problem, either with multiplication or division. When you're dealing with ratios, we're dealing with related things. So think of cars and motorbikes or vehicles. So we're going to find the value of one of these parts of the ratio. So it isn't literally that there are 35 cars and two motorbikes. That's just the ratio. The number is actually different than that. But when you reduce it down, it's 35 to 2. So if we know that two parts, and we're given this information, is equal to six motorbikes, then using the unitary method, we want to figure out what one part is. And to get from two to one, we divide by two, and so we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. And one part is three motorbikes. When you're dealing with rates, it's a little bit different. You're trying to find the value of one unit. Okay, when you're dealing with rates, you're going to find the value of the rate per, remember that's the magic unit for rates, one unit. So for example, Pedro earns $64 in a four-hour shift. So what is he going to earn? If he earns that in four hours, what he's going to earn in one hour, we divide by four, and dividing that by four on the other side as well gives us that he earns $16 per hour. There's the per line there. So once you find the value of one part, the rate per unit is known. Okay? So I'll just show you a few examples. Andy travels 105 kilometers in seven identical, that's the key, so they're all equal, car trips. From home to school, how far would Andy travel in 11 such car trips? Well, the first thing we need to do is figure out what the unit of one car trip is. And how did I get from seven to one? I divided by seven. So if I do the same on the other side, divide by seven, where's my handy calculator? 105, this is just the calculator that's on my computer, it gives me 15. So then I've got 15 kilometers is one car trip. We can do 15 kilometers in one car trip. And what do we want? We want to see how far we go in 11 car trips. So guess what? How did I get from one to 11? This time I multiplied by 11. And so I'm going to multiply by 11, and that's going to give me 15 times 11 is 165. So in 11 car trips, because we use the unitary method to find one car trip, and that is 15 kilometers, then we multiply by 11 to find 11 car trips. Okay, now we're dealing with ratios. We're dealing with apples first to oranges. Now, are there only three and only five oranges? No. In fact, there are 18 apples. So we're looking for how many oranges there are. So we have apples to oranges in a ratio of three to five. And we know that three parts of this ratio is equal to 18 apples. That's what we know. So we're going to start with that. So how do I get down to one part of this ratio? I'm going to divide by three, and I will do the same on the other side. And that gives me six apples. So one part of this ratio is six. And so if we want to find five parts, because remember they're all parts, even though they're apples or oranges, they are parts of this ratio. So it will be equivalent if we multiply one times five and six times five, we will have 30. But because we're talking about the oranges, which is the second half of this ratio, we have 30 oranges. Okay. A truck uses 4 liters of petrol to travel 36 kilometers. How far, how far will it travel if it uses 70 liters of petrol? So the first thing we want to do is 4 liters to travel 36 kilometers. What we want, using the unitary method, is to find 1. So how did I do that? Divide by 4, do the same on the other side. And I find that in one liter of petrol, I can travel nine kilometers. And now, I want to use, I've got 70 liters of petrol. How far is that going to take me? I multiply that by 70. I can use 70 liters of petrol to travel nine times 70. I could do that in my head. But nine times 70. Nine times 
630 kilometers using 70 liters. Now, finally, Melissa works at a local supermarket and she earns $57.60 for a four hour shift. That's the first part. We'll do that first. So, $57.60 for four, four hours. What do we want? Let's start with this unit first. One hour. How many hours? So, how did I get there? I divide by four. I divide by four. 57.60. Divided by 4, I don't need to put that 0 on there, is 14.40, but I'm not done yet. Okay, that's $14.40 for one hour. That is a rate for one hour. But the question says, how much does she earn? This is actually, look at that, cents. So we want to know how many cents she has. So first let's convert this to cents. Since I multiply by 100, and I've got 14.40 cents. I move that decimal place along two parts, or I multiply by 100 to give me cents, because there's 100 cents in the dollar. And then let's further convert. That's for one hour. We want to find out what it is in a minute. So how many minutes are there in one hour? 60 minutes. So can you see what's going to happen here? I'm going to use that unitary method again and find out what that rate is for one minute. And so I'm going to divide by 60 to get to 1, and I'm going to divide by 60 to get to 1440. Divided by 60. So in one minute, make sure you put the right unit in there, 24 cents for one minute. Fun.